Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fascination, and today, as I said earlier, um, this will be the second part for today of getting the side parts of the regalia sewn so that I can get the this side of the gusset literally hand stitched up and then sewn together. Now, seriously, I have to thank um, two history bounders. Um, well, first of all, for this, <laughs> traditionally, this in style is a Native American dress, okay? But then in the 1920s, it is considered the one hour dress, which we all know is not really a one hour dress. It takes about three hours, but considering all my tears in a trail, um, took me a few days to bounce back. And then I took my medicine, which took me longer to bounce back. Um, but I'm here, and then I also have to thank Bernadette Banner for including Native Americans in a post she did on Instagram, and I thanked her for that in earlier video, um, but again, um, I do have a lot to teach you, sweetie, um, don't feel that you can't reach out to me because that's not true. You can always reach out to me. Um, absolutely. Anybody that wants to learn, you can learn. Don't feel that you can't learn. You can never learn enough. Absolutely. So we're going to start out on my usual stitch. Now remember, I am using the Army Green. I have two of these bobbins. Um, spun. And this fabric here came from Sam's Fabric before they closed. The thread came from Fabric Mart. My Singer Heavy Duty 4452 came from <laughs> the Hobby Lobby. Um, and who got me started at the Hobby Lobby? Viv, Viv Mom from Viv Mom Sews. Thank you, Viv Mom. Viv Mom is a fashionista for um, fabric mark of all things. How about that? She is the fashionista for fabric mark. Which is a great place to get fabrics. Which is where my mystery fabrics come from. Now this month I'm on a no buy because I have a lot of fabric that I need to use up. So I also figured that I might as well teach some history while I'm at it. And since this month was supposed to be the powwow and the powwow didn't happen, um, sorry, my nose is itchy. Um, you know what? I'm starting to feel a lot better sitting at the sewing machine. You ever feel like whenever you felt kind of down and you're at your, your favorite hobby, it makes you feel better? Never felt that way. Your favorite hobby just makes you feel better. Apps. 
My favorite hobby. So. Besides, I'll have my regalia done way before next year. And at least getting it sung, right? Having it sung before next year, it gives me time to do the bead loom and also make my moccasins. Now, in the video I did before this one, and I had to cut some extra fabric off the bottom. I have an idea for that fabric. You might think it's a bit odd, but it's actually not. Now, if you guys remember, I went on vacation last year to Florida with my friend Rocco from Roaming with Rocco. And I bought this pair of shoes. Well, the shoes turned out to be a little big on me. So I figure, okay, this is what I'll do. Is I'll take that fabric and um, overlay it on those shoes. Tell me this isn't going to be cool. Overlay it on those shoes. and make it tribal looking. Who wouldn't love that? Who would not love to take their own style of shit? Look at how clean that hemline is. I love a clean hemline. I really do. And then of course, you know, we'll press this open or just trim it back either way um probably just trim it um and we'll just come over here and uh do the same thing because we have to do that um got to turn that first of all. Got to turn the dress and then find the end. Um, yeah, that sort of helps. <laughs> and we can laugh while we're at it. Ah, silly, silly, silly. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. You ever feel like when your Wednesday feels like a Monday? You ever have that happen? I've had that happen. Oh, goodness. And then you hope that you did not sew the wrong section. <laughs> so that you don't have to pick that apart. Because, dang. Um... <laughs> you don't want to pick that apart. That would be a bummer. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> so we don't have to pick that apart. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Thank goodness. We do not have to pick that apart. We're not being picky today. <laughs> Thank goodness we don't have to be picky. <laughs> no, we do not. Um, look. We can all sew together. We can all sing together. We can all have a good time together. And I'm going to tell you what. Bernadette Banner. Next year when the powwow happens, I would love you to come down. To South New Jersey 
I want you to contact me either here on YouTube or over on Instagram, okay? I know you see me on Instagram all the time. So you either, you contact me here, okay? Or you contact me over on Instagram. And I want you to come to next year's powwow. Don't worry, white girl. I don't care. You can't. Nobody's going to hurt you. <laughs> Nobody's going to hurt you. Um, we all show love at the powwow. I know I just called you white girl. <laughs> we all love each other at the powwow. Serious? Serious? We all love each other at the powwow. I will show you around. I will show you everything that you can purchase. The artificial sinew, the skins. Don't, don't be afraid to purchase some skins. I will show you how to sew with those. It's historical. You want to learn? Let me teach you. Okay? I will teach you. Do you not think that your own culture sewed skins? Absolutely. Paleolithic. <laughs> Back in the Paleolithics, absolutely. Uh. Oh, absolutely. Oh, goodness. Um, but yeah, you know, there's don't be afraid, girl. We don't bite anything but food. <laughs> get, get you, get fry bread taco, girl. You taco. Ooh, yeah. You. Oh, girl. There's some tea that you love there. That you would love. Oh yeah. yeah. There's some beautiful jewelry there that you would like. Oh yeah. Absolutely. You can enjoy the dances that are there. Absolutely. Lovely brown skinned men dancing in their bustles and buckskin, barely covering their butts. <laughs> be like, oh my, <laughs> what is this? It's tradition. It's a family tradition. <laughs> but it's so fun. You'd have fun. I'll take you to have fun. Take you to something historical to have fun. Wear whatever you want. I don't care if you want to wear one of your garments. 
Oh, you just can't wear your underpants. That's just, no. Can't just show up in underpants. <laughs> you can show up, however, in one of your light skirts or in one of your light dresses with your undergarment under it. <laughs> of course, but... about the tribes, I suggest that you come hang out with us. Even though, yes, I was raised on the West Coast, but, you know, not too far from Morgan. Yes, not too far from Morgan on Earth. Um, far from Morgan, but not too far from Morgan. got to even out the back though. The back is kind of like still not too even. I think because this part didn't even out too good when I cut it. So that would be flipped back. And that's fine and everything. Yeah. So you can tell right here where the uh, cut of the fabric did not even out too good. But that's fine because I can still cut that even. Like right here I can just take the rotary cutter to that. And that's fine because you know, like I was still like really emotional and everything. But that's okay. I can still do that. Um, and make sure it's evened out. So it's like. I will turn this right side out now. So that you guys can see. And you guys can also see like how very clean line this is now. And where I will be taking in the gusset area here by hand. But look how very clean this is right here. And I'm not too worried about front and back matching. Because this gusset will pull all this in. And that should make most of the front and the back match. When that happens. See like here. And here. That should make most of that match in. When I go to do that. Which in tradition. For um, Native American garment. I really won't have to worry about that. And a lot of times on the bottom, we don't really worry about the bottom of it being too even. So um, somewhere along, if, if I can't fit it in here for, uh, for, um, oh my gosh, making regalia with Joaquin Lonelage, if I can't, put his uh, link here. I'll leave it in the description box. Okay. Um, also, I will leave Morgan Donner's here. Okay. For the one hour dress again. Um, I will do that. But seriously, um, 
I would like to invite uh, Bernadette Banner to next year's powwow. If you're interested in learning more history, um, for uh, and don't feel insulted, please don't. Just don't feel insulted at all. Um, because if you're like seriously interested in learning real history about the tribes, don't ever feel insulted that, you know, um, a Native American has actually invited you to, uh, come to an event. It's, you know, I'll even pay your way in. I have no problem with that. I'll pay your way in, girl. Um, I have no problem with that. Uh, absolutely. And you can enjoy the food. You can enjoy the shopping. It's a two-day event. I'll pay your two days. Um, and it'll be fun. Come on. Uh, and it's next year. I would like to know about your costume college. I'm interested in this costume college. Oh, but please never dress, to, dress as a Native American. That would be an insult. I, I would never... Look, I know I'm wearing modern clothes because, like, it's modern times, okay? Um, <laughs> I would never dress as, how can I say this? Um, oh my gosh, I would never dress as a, um, an Englander. No. No. That would be wrong. I would never dress as somebody from another country. Uh, because that would be wrong of me to do, if you know what I mean, as a historical um, person from uh, another country. That would be wrong of me to do. Because I, I'm not of that culture, if that makes any sense. Um, but, you know, unless, of course, I'm invited to do so. Other than that, it's not correct to do so. Um, therefore, I couldn't do it because that would be very insulting to culture. Um... Let's say, I couldn't put on a sorry, a sorry, um, from India, because Native American is not Indian. You guys may call us Indian, but we're not Indian. Indians are from India, <laughs> um, if that makes any sense to you. True Indians are from India. And I can't wear a sari because that's from India. Um, but I can wear Native American regalia because that's from America. And that's where my culture comes from. Uh... Could I wear African dress? Well, that would be from my other blood. Um, but would I do that? No. <laughs> no. I'm not dark enough to pull that off. Um, unless, of course, I go outside and tan really good. Um, then yes. Yes. I've had my hair short. And then my afro happens. Um, and then yes. Um, 
But other than that, no, I will not. <laughs> I do know that there are some black people that look paler than me, and but still, um, well, I dress on that half of my bloodline. No, 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 no. But for my Native American bloodline, oh, absolutely, sweeties, absolutely. That that represents my uh, American culture. Um, absolutely, for the powwows. Um, but I'm always happy to teach you guys, like. The history that's lost in America. Um, there is a lot of lost history in America. And it's time to bring that history back. I think a lot of people are embarrassed to teach the true history of America. And um, I think it's time to bring that true history back. And uh, right now, where there's a lot of people not teaching, teaching true history with Char. Um, <laughs> right? Um, so like I said, you know, I do thank Bernadette Banner for including in her Instagram post, uh, Native American women. Um, there are a lot of hairstyles that I still have to teach. Um, there's a lot of everything that I have to teach this week. Um, I do run a little tired every once in a while, so don't mind that. I will look a little tired every once in a while, so like I said, don't mind that. Um, well, I am glad that I did get some more sewing done on this. And like I said, sometimes, you know, like the bottom of the regalia is actually supposed to be uneven. But that's only with the buckskin. Um, I don't have the chance to get my hand hands on the buckskin this year. Um, I'm... Buck skin can run rather expensive. Um, unless, of course, you know somebody going hunting. And they decide, okay, they want to tan it and then just give it to you. Because they don't know what they want to do with it. And then you can make that into your regalia. Now, as far as putting... Uh, shells on the buckskin. That's a whole other video. <laughs> in which I will teach you. Um, this I'm not done with. So I will teach you why shells go on some regalia. And I'm not done with this. So, I will teach you that in the next one. So, like I said, you know, I'm inviting Bernadette to next year's powwow if you want to go. You either let me know here or you let me know on Instagram. I'm inviting you. You just, you let me know. Um... And I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Oh, yeah, and my friend Isabel, Izzy, I'm inviting you to. Um, Isabel's really cool. Bernie. Oh, shit. I forgot. I wasn't going to call you Bernie anymore. Bernadette. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gave you a nickname. Um, Bernadette. Oh, uh, <laughs> I I tend to give people nicknames. I'm sorry. 
I, I sincerely apologize for this. I tend to give people nicknames. And I tend to give you the name Bernie by accident. Um, so, uh, no, you would enjoy time with myself and Isabella, which I call her Izzy B. She is sweet. Um, anyway, uh, she used to be a YouTube creator as well. Just an adorable person. Um, she sells jewelry for paparazzi. Plus she has a clothing store on Etsy. Called Rival B. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so see, we all do, we all do clothing of different sorts. Um, so anyway, like I said, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always stay blessed. And, um, I will get to doing the rest and we shall chat later.